Hi guys, my name is Rick Stone from the blog OurStonyAcres.com. Welcome to Grow What You Eat and Eat What You Grow, which is our video series where we talk about all things gardening. This week we are going to be taking you out to the garden and teaching you how to plant onions using seedlings. But before we get started on that, I want to remind everybody that you should subscribe right up here to my video. You see it right here? Right up here. Okay. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get all kinds of great gardening advice. Before we head out to the garden, I want to talk really quickly about why we choose to plant our onions from seedling instead of the other options that are available. So three options for us to plant onions. The first would be seeds. The second would be sets and the third would be seedlings. So let's talk about each really quick. Planting onions by seeds is usually pretty tough for those of us that live in a cold winter environment. If you, have, if you live in a nice mild environment, you might be able to actually plant your onions by seeds out in the garden and get them to grow. But most of us that live in a cold environment, if we want to plant from seed, we have to start them indoors. So if you're planning on planting seeds out in the garden, unless you live somewhere very mild, uh, you're probably just not going to have enough time to get those plants to maturity. So that's why I don't plant from, from seeds. The second option are sets. Now here's a picture of some onion sets. And sets are these little partially grown onions that you see here in the picture. They're very easy to plant. All you need to do is just stick them in the ground and they grow into onions. The problem with growing from sets is, is that onions are what's called a biannual plant, which means the first year they focus on growing a bulb and storing lots of energy in that bulb. And then the second year they put up a flower stalk and set seeds. So the problem with sets is, is that even though these are just little tiny onions, they've gone dormant. And so they think that they're in their second year. And so when you plant them, you struggle a lot with getting bigger bulbs and you also struggle a lot with flower stalks. And flower stalks on onions are bad. The reason why they're bad is because they, they actually change the taste a little bit and then they also, if you get a flower stalk growing on an onion, that bulb is not going to store for very long. So flowers bad and, and so that's why I don't plant from sets anymore because I, I used to sometimes half of my onions would put up flower stalks and, and so they just don't last when you actually go to store them. So instead, I choose to grow my onions by seedlings. Now here's a picture of a seedling. Onion seedlings are these just little guys. They're about six to eight weeks old. I, I get them from a grower that's in Texas and is what they do is they go out and harvest them, put them in a box and ship them right to me. And so, for example, these onions were shipped on Monday, arrived on Thursday, and I had them on the garden Friday morning, which is perfect because they haven't had a chance to go dormant yet. And so you just put them in the garden and they take off and they grow much bigger bulbs and you have very little problem with flower stalks. Now you can get seedlings in three different ways. The first way would be you can grow them yourself. And if you're going to grow your own onion seedlings, you need to be thinking about that early. So the end of January, early February is when you're really going to be starting to think about putting those seeds in under your lights, you know, in your seed starter. The other options would be to order them online and there are online guys that, that grow them and they ship them directly to you. They're less than a week old and you can get them right in the garden and away they go. Or the third option is a lot of nurseries are now picking up on the fact that, that this is the best way to grow them and so you can get them at nurseries. The one caveat that I would give you with that is you need to make sure you find out when the nursery is getting a new shipment of onions in and go buy them that day so that you're getting them as fresh as possible because sometimes they'll sit for two, three, four weeks at your nursery and, and then they're just not going to do as well. So you want to make sure you find out if they're going to have them in, when they're going to be in so that you can buy fresh ones and get them right into the garden. So now let's head out to the garden and we'll take a look at how you actually plant onion seedlings. To plant an onion seedling properly, you really only need to get it planted in the ground about an inch deep. I find that it's very handy to use like a large nail or a bolt to kind of drill a little hole in the ground and then I just stick the seedlings in about an inch deep and I press the soil back around the plant and that's it. They're planted and ready to go. Just be careful that you don't make your holes too deep 
because then you'll put the onion in and it'll settle, settle deeper in the hole when you water and then you won't get quite as good of bulb development. Now spacing is a big contributor to the size of your onions. We like to have onions that are about the size of a baseball or just a little bit smaller. We found that these smaller sized onions are perfect for a single meal and we've also found that these smaller onions last a lot longer in storage. So that's what we prefer and so we're able to just go ahead and plant our onions fairly tightly in a patch with about four inches between each plant and about four inches between each row. Now if you want larger onions then you should be planning on giving them more space to grow. This is especially true when you're growing some of the larger varieties like the Walla Wallas and other varieties that are big, big onions, you know, softball size or bigger. If you would like to grow some onions for green onions, then you can plant those a lot closer together and you can also plant them a lot deeper. Uh, you can go as deep as maybe three inches and you can plant them two inches together or, or even closer. And it's what that does is by putting them that close together, it forces the onions to stretch and it gives you that nice, yummy, long green onion, uh, the white part that, that we like so much. And so plant them deeper and closer together if you want green onions. You also need to remember that onions are big feeders. And so that means they like lots of fertilizer. Onions are one of the few crops that we actually fertilize. We're organic growers and so we use an organic fertilizer, but onions, if you want big bulbs, you need to have some fertilizer. Uh, you use that higher nitrogen fertilizer and side dress the onions, so, so put it next to the, to, to the onions so that it will kind of soak down in there. And you do that every three weeks until the bulbs start to develop. So once the bulbs actually start to grow and size up, then you can be finished with fertilizing. And we usually use an organic fertilizer which is called fish emulsion and that's a 511 so it's higher in nitrogen and it's a liquid fertilizer that we just apply to the plants about every three weeks. So you guys choose whether you want to use you know a commercial uh, regular non-organic fertilizer or if you want to use a, a organic fertilizer but you really should fertilize your onions. All right, that's it for this week's edition. Before we go, I want to remind you, please subscribe to our YouTube page and also go visit our blog, ourstonyacres.com for more great growing information. And also, if you liked what you saw here, then you should check out my gardening video series. I have a whole bunch of gardening videos that are awesome uh, that you can buy through my blog. So just follow this link right here. It'll take you to my blog and all of my YouTube subscribers get a special discounted price on my video courses. Uh, so go ahead and click right there. That's it for this week. Happy gardening.